In this video, we're going to be installing our quarter inch UHMW over the top of our aluminum skid plates. This is what we call our hybrid set, and it offers the best of both worlds. This installation is relatively simple, as the nut inserts are already in your aluminum plate. So you'll just set your plastic plate into position and take your flange bolts and cup washers and just start getting the plate set. After you get a couple started, you can just let it hang and then go from there. Now we're going to install everything loosely for now, just so we can move it around, make sure everything's seated where we want, and get it adjusted for the best fit. Now on this plate, there's two spots that are what we call a common mount. It's using the same hole to mount the aluminum and the plastic. On that one, you're not going to use the flange fold. It's going to be the regular bolt for the aluminum with the spacer. So if you've already installed that on the aluminum installation, you're going to have to pull it out and uh, redo it. There's two spots on this one. And then the rest are just the, the flange bolts and the uh, cup washers. And that's the first piece. Oh, I still had a couple bolts. Four actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we can go ahead and do the rear now. So the rear also shares two common mounts, these ones right here. So again, if you've already uh, put those in on your aluminum installation, you're going to have to pull them out for your hybrid, for your plastic. Maybe it'll start. Let's try another one. <laughs> there we go. It's easiest to get a few of the mounts in before you do the common mounts, just to get the plate pulled up. It's a little bit closer, a little easier to get the thread started on these common mounts. There's one common mount. I'm going to do the other side. I'm getting with the spacer and the, the same hardware as the aluminum. And there's the second common mount started, so now we can go ahead and finish out putting the rest of the cup washers in. Okay, that's everything started, so we can go ahead and tighten those down now. We still have the floorboard skid to do, but that won't interfere with anything. I swung on this one. Okay, everything is snug, but now we can go through and tighten it. Okay, all those are tight. Now we just have our plastic piece for this floorboard over here. We've already have installed this one, obviously, but it's the same procedure for either side. There's no collar mounts on the floorboard, so that makes it a little easier. Now 
And now that all of those are, oh, we still have one more. Okay, now that all those are started, we can start to tighten things down. Okay, and that's it. So that's the, uh, the full installation of the aluminum and our uh, quarter inch UHMW hybrid setup. And on the last video, I think I forgot to show you to tighten the uh, rock rails back down, but the access hole that you slide the clamp through uh, is the same access hole you can get a wrench in to tighten those down. I've already done it on this machine, but I think I forgot to mention to tighten these back down after you get the floorboards on, and that's where you can get access to the two bolts for the rock rails. So that's that. Thank you for watching.